What's up guys, welcome back to the channel for another GeForce Now News Thursday. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, ring the bell so you know when new videos come out. Now we've got eight games to announce this week and we also have some other news to go over. So let's get started with our app update. There's an app update rolling out this week for GeForce Now on PC and Mac that optimizes streaming resolution support for 16 by 10 4K 60. Perfect for RTX 3080 members on their MacBooks. We've also got some future game announcements, which is often rare. A Plague Tale Requiem guaranteed to be on GeForce Now in October, along with Warhammer Darktide later this fall, and the Portal RTX expansion will be supported on GeForce Now as well. If you missed it, that will be free for Portal owners. Now, there was a new device also announced by Logitech. This is dedicated for cloud gaming. This was worked on in partnership with Tencent, Xbox, and GeForce Now. It comes ready to go right out of the box to run GFN, and I'm really interested in this device to see how it runs cloud. I love get a dedicated gaming devices over a phone or a tablet. That's why I love my Steam Deck. So this is something I'm interested in trying. However, the price is a little high in my opinion at 300 for launch and 350 after launch, but only time will tell how this is gonna work out. I really thought it would be a 200 to $250 device. If I can get my hands on one, I definitely do want to give it a try, but it's a cool thing to see companies start to really embrace cloud this way. All right, let's get on to the eight games we've got for this week. The first of our eight games this week is a new release over on Steam with Blind Fate Ido no Yami. Dive into a world that mixes sci-fi and ancient tradition, slash through robots with a trusty katana, use high-tech implants to navigate the surroundings, dodge enemy attacks, and land devastating finishers. Reclaim the past following the way of the Japanese samurai in a fantastic period of new Edo. Our second game is a new release over on Steam for September 20th, and that's Construction Simulator. Construction Simulator is back, bigger and better than ever. Take charge of over 70 machines, dozens of them brand new to the franchise, and build to your heart's content on two huge maps, on your own or with your friends. Next up, we have another new release for Steam for September 20th with Solstice. Explore a dark world brimming with hidden mysteries, master a diverse combat system, and inhabit the dual forces of two sisters in a coming-of-age dark fantasy story with fast-paced action, vicious enemies, and spectacular boss fights. Our fourth game is another new release over on Steam for September 15th with Stone's Keeper. Stone's Keeper is a turn-based strategy game with RPG elements in which you explore a detailed fantasy world. Lead the Order of the Griffin, recruit and enhance your fighters, control a flying island, search for artifacts, and learn the secrets of the ancients. The last of our brand new releases this week is also over on Steam for September 22nd, and this is a Potion Permit. Moonberry's residents need healing, and you're the best chemist around. With your trusty tools, a brewing cauldron, and a canine companion at your side, you'll need to diagnose symptoms, gather ingredients, brew potions, and cure ailments in this open-ended sim RPG. Our next release is both for Steam and the Epic Game Store, originally released May 24, 2016 with Total War Warhammer. Addictive turn-based empire building with colossal real-time battles, all set in a world of legendary heroes, giant monsters, flying creatures, and storms of magical power. We've also got Total War Warhammer 2 over on Steam and the Epic Game Store. This was originally released September 28th, 2017. Strategy Gaming perfected a breathtaking campaign of exploration, expansion, and conquest across a fantasy world. Turn-based civilization management and real-time epic strategy battles with thousands of troops and monsters at your command. And our eighth and final game for this week is Total War Warhammer 3, also for Steam and the Epic Game Store. Originally released February 17th of this year for 2022, the cataclysmic conclusion to the Total War Warhammer trilogy is here. Rally your forces and step into the realm of chaos, a dimension of mind-bending horror, where the very fate of the world will be decided. Will you conquer your demons or command them? All right, guys, that's going to wrap up our news for this week. Keep an eye out for that app update that should be rolling out. We've got those future games already announced. I can't wait for the next Plague Tale and that Portal update's going to be really cool this fall. I don't know what to think about the G Cloud device from Logitech just yet. The pricing is what's kind of throwing me off there, but I'm really excited about the device. Would love to try it out. And I love seeing a company step up and really put cloud gaming and even streaming of your console forward and with Steam Link and that type of thing. It's really pretty cool. 
but I don't know. I just don't know about that pricing. You guys let me know what you think in the comments down below. Anyways, that's going to do it, guys, for this week. If you haven't already, subscribe, thumbs up, ring that bell. Leave me your comments down below, and I'll see you in the next one.